Carrie Runyon here, creative encourager and visual artist. Today I want to talk about how I see creativity and how it seems to work. The way I see creativity is it's something that is by definition unknown to us. It is something that's evolving or happening out of nothing. It is something that is showing itself as we move forward in the moment with whatever it is we're creating. This happened to me today already with this process as I was playing with this tuba prompt. And so I do have a drawing to show you. So that's what I'll be moving forward with. I'm gonna get started now. Got my tuba painted, at least the watercolor part of the tuba. As you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I never know where these things are actually gonna end up, which is that creativity part showing up. The way I look at it is, I used to draw very tight drawings when I did paintings. I had everything kind of figured out beforehand, and how it ended up feeling for me was like I was doing a paint by number. Now this is not true for everybody. Some people can do a very tight drawing and then work on their artwork and be fully engaged with the process of putting the paint down and bringing up the color and the drawing part is really interesting to them. And they, it's almost like, maybe it's like a meditation or something. And I've experienced that at times in my life. But the way I work now is far more fluid, for lack of better words. It's very open-ended and even if I do a sketch, as you've seen today, they're usually fairly loose. Uh, they're not ironed out. They're not figured out completely. They're just sort of a place to start. So this for me is the creative act. It is showing up with not a whole lot of idea where things are gonna go, maybe just an inkling, or it's even very fun, as I've done before on these videos, to just show up with no idea and start blobbing things around and then seeing what characters come out of those blobs. But just getting to the paper or whatever medium you like to use, whether it's your iPad or you, a camera or you enjoy writing, sitting down to actually do something is where we start to see our creativity in action. If we think about what we wanna do, and all we do is think about what we want to do, that can be really exhausting. And sometimes it seems to take the place of the creativity itself. So I encourage all of you, even if you just take a moment a day, even if it's just sit down at the table and scribble something on a piece of paper, the act of moving your hand on a page brings you into a place of creativity. And as you open to it by sitting down without any big plan or sitting down with a paintbrush or whatever it is you like to work with, it gives you that, it's like an invitation to what is already waiting and actually working through you. But I wanna tell you that I bought a bunch of new black pens. One is the Pigma Micron. And these are micron pens like you know and love, but they are permanent ink and archival. So they're not gonna go anywhere when you paint over them. So I will link to these below. And then the other type of pen that I got to try is a Unipin, U-N-I-P-I-N, fine line. And these are also waterproof, fade resistant archival, just like the Micron, Pigma Micron are. So I tried these yesterday, they were awesome. Today I think I'm going to try this Pigma brush pen and see how that goes. It, it has a flexible tip, the end moves and you can make variations in your line width because of the flexible nib tip on the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with that now, put on my trusty glasses and we'll see what happens.
Okay, a little line work on there, which I must tell you, I don't like at all at this moment. And I'm not listening to that thinking that this sucks and I need to stop and start over. I'm just gonna let it be what it is and keep moving along. And it's okay if I don't like it. And this art does not mean anything about me. So I'm gonna continue on here. Okay, I just noticed something with this brush pen. I think the other pens that came with the set will not move, but this particular brush pen apparently is not permanent and waterproof because it's bleeding a little bit into my watercolor. So live and learn. I think um, I'm getting close to being done with this. I might add a few more shadows and we'll go from there. Okay, so I don't like this, and I'm gonna be just with this as a painting that it was a good experiment. And I kept working on it. Here's a good example of trying to resurrect something when you feel like you went over the edge. What I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and paint one more and see if that goes any better, knowing that it may not, and I may just be having a day where I don't like what I do and that happens sometimes so no problem I'm gonna go ahead and try that new one and see what happens
Okay, the perfection of this, of not liking either of the paintings that I did today, is a great example of continuing to move through what I'm doing with all kinds of ideas about liking it or not liking it, and just playing with it anyway. You know, sometimes you just don't have a day where you like what you painted. And still there's things within it that you can see the creativity flowing, you can have a sense of, I'm here, I'm doing this. But most of all, you realize that whatever you're painting is not a reflection on you. It has nothing to do with your ability. It has nothing to do with your creativity. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you think it might be helpful to someone you know, please share it. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. And I'll be talking to you soon.